Anyway, nothing else we can do down here for the moment. So, let's go check the garage. It's right over here. You just need to go into your inventory and use the garage remote. Also, we can look at this thing that we got, the old revolver. The cylinder is rusted and won't turn. It'd be a nice piece if I could get it repaired. So, yeah, we don't get a firearm just yet. Surprise! If you can get the first strike on lurkers with the knife, they're not too terribly bad. And we got a steel pipe. So, at least we got another weapon. The steel pipe is a bit slower, of course. It does more damage if you can get good hits with it. Whereas the knife has a three-hit combo with weak strikes, you only have two with the pipe. But it gives us another type of door that we can open. With the pipe we can use the pry command. And thus we get an empty gas can. Also, in case you missed the combat training earlier, I think this is basically stuff that we've already seen. All in all, I tend to prefer the knife. can do the job, but I tend to prefer the faster strikes that the knife gives. It's a creepy playground. Lovely. And here we get another photo. A big spider crawling next to my army toys in the park. There's also something else if we look around the walls. There it is. I got a child's drawing. Where is Stephen, Mommy? He can't play, and I'm sad. You mustn't ask, my darling. Stephen has been bad. Oh, I do need to pry that open. <laughs> ah, getting used to hitting the right buttons. And another lurker. It's one of the rare survival horror games where the knife is actually really good. The gas tank is open. It looks like someone siphoned some gas out of this. Oh, well, we can do the same. I can use this to fill up the gas can. There's not much left, but I should be able to power up the generator with this. Also, one odd thing. There's a ladder here for reasons. I'm not really sure if there's an actual point to coming up here. It doesn't seem like there's anything, other than just the option to climb back down. Nothing else we can really do in this alley. So, let's get back home. Is there anything down here, actually? No. Just thought I'd check in case of health drink or anything.
So, back down to the basement with us. Also, our house is annoyingly devoid of save points. You'd think they could have put one in here. So now that we have the full gas can, we can use it here. And it drains the water. So that we can finally open this door and get out. And so here we are in our spacious backyard. That's a nice little barbecue grill. So there's a bit more of the house that we can look around. It's our answering machine. There's no tape inside. Well, we can fix that. So the father of the Shepherd household continues to be kind of a jerk. And we can look in the fridge. Delicious health drink. So, more boards that we can't get through. Another door that won't open. We can get in here at least. Though this door won't open. This is Mom's sewing machine. She used it to mend our clothes. Sometimes she'd spend all day mending clothes or making things for the other ladies around town. There's a note next to the phone. Adam, don't forget to ask Curtis about the engine. Don't know why I thought there was a health kit in here somewhere. And we found another child's drawing. Billy too? And Sally? Did they do something wrong? I'm afraid it's true, child. All your friends are gone.
What's this on the fence? This is Joshua's backpack. There's a photo inside. This looks like a picture of Dad's hunting room, but how did Joshua get in there? So we can look back this way and find that the world ends here. What happened to the streets? Municipal access gate. There's a message here. No trespassing. Violators may be subject to prosecution. Well, prosecute away. It's locked. There's a light coming from the other side. I got the Rose Heights Cemetery map. Yes, we're exploring a cemetery. Always a wonderful place to visit in Silent Hill. More Shepherd's Glen, but it's definitely exhibiting Silent Hill behavior. Oliver Hall died November 6, 1875, at the age of 62. We laughed at him because he was different. He laughed at us because we were all the same. We'll never laugh the same again. Erica Hall died January 23, 1870. Sleep on, sweet mother and wife, and take thy rest. God called thee home, he thought it best. Basically all this stuff is just flavor text, so I'm not going to read all of it. Just kind of neat little touches that they put in here, though. Is there anything in here? I just always feel afraid I'm going to leave, like, health items behind or something. What's that guy doing? Call me crazy, but he looks like he's digging a hole. A dog. This is a feral. So long as you keep up the pursuit, they're not too bad. And we get the achievement, Eddie's Legacy. Defeated one feral. I have a hard time telling if the light's on or not. This fountain is hereby dedicated to the memory of Charlotte Borden by her loving parents, taken suddenly from a life yet fulfilled, born, the rest is illegible, age eight years old. There's an additional inscription below. Inseparable, yet divided, two halves of the same person, in two places now forever apart. And we got an odd stone plate. Yeah, make sure you get that. <laughs> I accidentally left it behind on my practice run, and it takes a while getting back here. And we get a health drink. How's my health looking, anyway? Still decent. I'm still over halfway. The gate to the Bartlett family mausoleum is locked. Padlocked. 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 This little area is a bit of a maze. A lot of different gates you have to find your way through. Some areas are completely useless. I think there's maybe like one, I one area that you can go in to get an item, I think. 
But there's also a save point here, finally. We've been recording a while, so let's go ahead and take a refreshing pause, shall we? And we'll resume our fun little cemetery tour as soon as we get back from this. So, back in a moment. <laughs> 